Well, let's move on quickly. The 2019 election is uh, on the leaves of many Nigerians, and it will be hotly contested. Among all the major political parties, we have 68 of them right now. There are also neophytes in the political arena. No doubt the ruling APC is a party to beat, considering all of the indices on the table, politically speaking, of course. The major opposition PDP will strive to regain the power it lost at the center. In all of this, there are legislations and political factors which could make the election, uh, the coming one, slightly different from the previous elections. Will President Muhammad Buhari pull the same weight as he did in 2015 if he gets the APC ticket? Is the PDP ready? Are they gaining more grounds across the country? Let's get the conversation started, everyone, shall we? Let's go to our Abuja studio where I have joining me. Uh, it's... Um, the member of uh, the House of Representatives representing Lagos State Honorable Ima Ego, as a, and also a former member of, uh, a former lawmaker and an a APC chieftain, uh, Honorable Clatus Auburn. Thank you so much for your time tonight on the program. Let me quickly come to you, Honorable Ego. Uh, it, it looks so much that the, the, a lot of legislation that has been planned ahead of this election, uh, some of them are, are looking like they may not come on stream before the 2019 election. What are the hurdles? Well, yeah. well, I, I, think, I think that uh, legislation that has been done by the uh, House of Rep or the National Assembly and the Senate today uh, most of them have passed through the amendment to the Electoral Act. You know, we are finished with it, Senate are finished with it. And it's begun to the presidency. And I'm, I'm very certain the president will sign it because it is intended to make uh, the 2019 election to be freer and fairer and to ensure that the, the results are acceptable to everybody. And uh, one of the key things we've done is to make card reader the candidate so that uh, card reader be, will be the majority that will be used. And uh, we don't have to resort to uh, say Canada is not good. We we'll begin to use other it's just form, which leads to rigging. So I, I, th I think those legislature would go through before then, uh, because I'm hopeful that the president will sign them. You know, that is the position now. As a politician, uh, what do you think will happen in 2019? Do you think that your party is pulling the right weight to be able to return to the center? Yeah, I, I think the PDP is the party to, to beat. We've seen it in Kaduna, which is uh, supposed to be an APC state. Uh, for the first time in a state, you see an opposition, you know, winning massively uh, local government election. It happened in Kaduna, and the PDP were the winner. Look at, after that, the next election that was done by INEC was the one that is done recently in uh, Ibadan, where the former speaker, uh, who died, his seat was only contested. And you see, PDP winning with a, ma a large margin right in the heart of uh, your state in Ibadan. So when you look at those recent uh, uh, elections, you will know that PDP is uh, the party to beat. Look at the election just done in River State now. PDP took all the seats, took basically all the councillors. So, uh, and besides that, PDP has become very well organized. They finished their Congress, PDP is settled. APC is just going to their Congress. As we speak to you, a lot of the states uh, that, you know, have not agreed to the result released by PC uh, in their Congress. You have some states where two parties are still contending. They have not been able to do reconciliation. Yet very soon, a couple of weeks or there about, uh, they, they are going to be having their National Congress. So when you look at it, you see the PDP is well organized. PDP is well seated and uh, in a comfortable position. And uh, of course, look at the kitty. You know, the PDP's campaign has been going on vigorously. APC is just uh, launching their own. So when you look at it, I think the PDP is the party to beat because All right. they are ready and yeah. people have not tested, you know, another party. And, let let, and let me allow, uh, Honorable Ego, let me allow Honorable Clatus uh, Auburn to, to come in here. Do you agree with what Honorable, the optimism that Honorable Ego is uh, 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 talking about here? Uh, PDP, a party, a party to beat or your party is ready for the contest? I do think that PDP is going through its uh, last stages of uh, a happy Christian burial. And uh, what you are seeing here are just mere spasms of a dying behemoth. Uh, in the last 16 years, PDP has done what it ought to do. And to be beaten while on the sudden, and then imagining that you can now resurrect suddenly, 
uh, is to play the Christ. And I think this is a, a mission impossible. Clearly, uh, APC is only demonstrating its uh, democratic credentials when it is allowing. I'm happy that he is now happy to announce that in the PDP state, in an APC state, PDP is winning some seats, and in PDP state, PDP is winning 100%. It only shows back to where we are that people want to return to Egypt and continue to eat their cucumber, but those who want to go to the promised land know that you have to pass through the desert. So the desert of APC is far more promising and gives Nigeria more hope about All right. what is to come. Okay. Therefore, what APC is doing uh, let, let, let me pause you quickly, really Honorable Auburn, because we need to take this break. But when we come back, we will look at the 2019 contest. It looks to me that's going to be a very interesting one. And we look at the dynamics when we return from this break, everyone. Join us again. Thank you, Mr. President. We are with you. It's not a question of second time. You deserve it. <laughs> We're going to work for it. No allotment of it. We are going to win with you. Thank you. Before I go public, I have come before you to tell you once again I intend to offer myself to run for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Fellow Nigerians, with love for our country and a fierce commitment to a vision of rapid progress, for our more than 180 million citizens. And following wide-ranging consultations, I offer myself to serve you as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As, as from May 29, 2019. I therefore intend to be a candidate in the 2019 presidential election. You seem to be very confident about you winning 2019 election. I don't see anybody else who can win against the Nigerian people. And I think at this point, the Nigerian people have said enough is enough. They don't want the old guys, they don't want the corrupt guys, they don't want the competent leaders we have had, they don't want the looters, and they don't want the people who have destroyed their future to continue to be in charge of their destiny. If you stand in election with Buhari today, you will win? I don't think Buhari will be confident enough to stand against me in an election because he certainly knows he will only win six states. I don't want to count them because we don't have time. We are going to win with over 40 million votes and Buhari will be trailing behind me with about 7 million if he's lucky. 